There we go. The real ones. They all down there with the sauces. What do you guys think of uh, acknowledging people? I said hi to this one person. I get the dirtiest look like the hell. I like to acknowledge someone's existence. Hey, welcome back to another Animal Style Mukbang. And as you can see, what I have in front of me are a mountain of tortilla chips that I'm about to nacho up in Animal Style. And I will take this time to thank everyone who suggested this to me. So thank you so much. And if you have any other suggestions for me to Animal Style food-wise, leave it in the comments section and I'll get to it. Now let's get this started because I'm super excited. Definitely going to start off with the cheese first, of course. Got it hot and ready. And oh my goodness, it's going down already. You always want to over cheese your nachos. Always. For me. Alright, it's time to animal style this. Oh, yes. The onion fix. Life is just real right now. Huh? It's too real. The onions raining. All right, now before I get started on this beauty over here, I'm actually gonna add one more ingredients to not disrespect the originality of nachos. Uh, I read the Wikipedia page for the history of nachos for like a minute and I know everything already. <laughs> no, just kidding. But yes, uh, the one of the main original ingredients were actually jalapenos. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and It'll be ready. I definitely have my eye on this one. This one looks amazing. First bite shouldn't be as bad. Boom! <sighs> hmm. Let's get a few more bites in there. Mmm. This one's super cheesed up right here. Ooh. Onioned up. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's really hard to distinguish if it's good or bad right away with the first bite. I mean, you can definitely, you know. But this one is like, there's mixed feelings for some reason because it's something new to me. You know, this is my first time ever trying this type and it's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's, it's still, you know, it's not bad. Mm. This is my type of nacho right here, where the sauce is like half the tortilla chip, and that half is like a little soggy because it marinated into that the the, the sauces. And the other part right here is like the crunchy part. Oh, great combination! Mm. Oh. Look at this big chip right here, huh? This won't disappoint. Now I find this weird because I'm not used to my uh my nachos being sweet because the animal style and the 
grilled onions do make it sweet. With the jalapeno soup, enhances. Just the animal style sauce, no cheese. It needs the cheese. Hmm. The cheese makes a whole lot of difference. I mean, without the cheese, it wouldn't be animal style either way. Ooh! When it's covered. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh man, the jalapeno, don't go eating nachos and animal styling if you're going to try this without the jalapenos, because the jalapenos just, I'm glad I bought it, damn, I'm glad I read that Wikipedia page, the history of nachos, it's pretty interesting. So shout out to the the nacho guy. I believe his name was uh, Ignacio. Ooh. There we go. The real ones. They all down there with the sauces. Hmm. That one's so good. Soggy, crunchy. All of the flavors. Anyways. What do you guys think of uh, acknowledging people? You know what I mean? This this topic, this, this you know, I was thinking about this after uh, our, a few days ago. Because I uh, I keep observing it. Especially from where I live. Like acknowledging other people. Other human beings. So for me, I'm the type of guy who grew up saying hello to people that, you know, I'm very polite. Regular day, going to Chipotle, you know, you see people, you see someone. You don't know them, some a stranger, somebody. Make eye contact, for me, I usually say, hey, how's it going, or hey, like that. Or even neighbors, neighbors are even the worst. Uh, you know, I always say hi to my neighbors if I can, if I see them, or make eye contact with them, because that is just so weird, like, mm, I'm not gonna look at you. Well, you think a damn celebrity in your own house, or, Apartment complex, but uh, <laughs> no, there's uh, there's there's so many of those cases where you know the you just get ignored when someone passes by you, and I understand, you know, I understand that. But in in other when I you know when I went to um, uh, outside of the United States, people are way different. They're more nicer, you know. Um, 
know, even other states, even other states, you know, they, they help, tend to say hello and be polite. And I like that. I like that a lot. But when someone just thinks they're feel entitled, or maybe I don't know if it's awkward for somebody, I don't know what it is, but I like to acknowledge someone's present, you know? I'm that type of guy who has that in my head. Where I tend to say hello, say thank you always, and sometimes it's so funny to to observe <laughs> when you be polite to somebody and they're in shock. I find that ridiculously funny, you know. I uh, that's so fun to observe because. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> I don't know. I just really find that funny when you say hi to somebody especially like, you know from New York No, man, man, if you go to New York everybody just like mm, the hell <laughs> Nobody it's rare to see some say, you know ha have someone say hi there. They say hi. They're not from there <laughs> You know what I mean, but <laughs> um, I said hi to this one person one of my neighbors uh, a little older lady you know, but she has a very strong attitude. Uh, to, you know, I just, I recently moved here, so I don't know what the deal is with everybody, but I heard she's a woman that complains a lot. And, you know, uh, she makes a big deal out of little things. And she has an attitude with everybody. And I, I came across her, you know, and I didn't know who it was until I was notified who she was. So. She went to go pick up mail, I was picking up mail. And I saw her. And me, you know me. I'm polite. I say hello. I get the dirtiest look like the hell. <laughs> it's like nobody has ever said hi to her. You know? Or you having a good day or what? <laughs> but it's just uh, uh you know, I've encountered that twice, even though She doesn't say hi. I mean, she doesn't say hi. I still say hi because that's out of respect and I'm a big person on respect. But uh, <laughs> she looked at me all crazy. It was so funny. I find it, like I said, I find it very entertaining and I'm very observant about that. When I say hi to someone out of uh, uh, politeness, they're just like, mm-hmm, what are you saying hi to me? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. And it's awkward at the same time for some people who think, what the hell, this guy's person, this person is saying hi to me. No. I'm just being polite. And one time it was raining really hard. We were picking up mail. And in order to pick up packages, the packages are left in the office where I live. So it's a community, you know, it's a community thing. And the only way to get in there is you need keys. And the only person who has those keys are the, either the security guard or the manager of the whole uh, apartment complex. So. So it was raining hard and I was sitting. There's only one seat there. The woman comes again. The woman who, who's awkward, awkwardly doesn't, you know. Acknowledge other people. While we were waiting for the security guard, I was like, Would you like to take a seat? I get the meanest look, like, What the hell? I guess she was just in shock that, you know, uh, that someone tr treats her that way. I don't know if, you know, I don't know. <laughs> She's just in shock that someone treated her that way in, in a very polite way. Or I don't know. She, I don't know what it is. Her background. I don't know her past. I don't know. But she. Then she. She was like. Since she was so in shock with the way she looked at me, she asked me 
Hey, you're not from here, are you? <laughs> and then she was really shocked when I told her, yeah, I am from here and I was even raised here. And don't get me wrong, I'm from, I'm not from New York, I'm from Cali. And I heard Cali, a lot of them get this stereotype where they're rude, and I've seen it. <laughs> and sometimes it gets me a little upset too, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I actually do get annoyed by, you know, you, you take your time, you take your energy just to say hello and, you know, acknowledge someone's presence and, and their existence. And then you don't get no response and you get like a, a, an awkward, crazy look to you. And I don't know if anyone has experienced that, but, uh, you know, that happened to me recently, like I said, you know, or it happens often because, like I said, I like to acknowledge someone's existence. But, you know... If you don't want to say hi, I'm going to f*** you. <laughs> just... Oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes I just crack myself up. And you know, we're human beings, and I truly believe that communication is a huge key in life. Acknowledging someone uh, can, can change someone's life, you know? So it's not like I try that every day, it's just who I come across, you know? And, and I've done that before, actually. I've actually just like ignored someone or, you know, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be, uh, what is it? I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be looked at or right now. And uh, I just don't want to be left alone. And it sucks. It, it sucks to, to think that way because it's so negative. And I hope all of you understand what I'm talking about. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you experience this type of, uh, type of situation. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not telling you to go out there and be like, hey, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, look crazy. But this is through my experience and what I like to do I, as a person. Maybe I'm just a people person. <laughs> oh, look at this soggy one. Oh, yeah. Acknowledging the nachos. Number one priority.
Mmm. Last bite. I'm getting nachoed up over here. Maybe not. Alright, so this was not bad at all. I just recommend not to over sauce it on the animal style sauce because it becomes too rich and you can't even taste the original flavors. And you know me, I love to over sauce things, which is very foolish of me. But the original recipe, you can go ham on the nacho cheese and the jalapenos because that will never get old. Okay, before I go, I actually have a joke that relates to this. So what do you guys call cheese that's not yours? Acknowledging people. <laughs> Go out there and acknowledge people. <laughs> if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, that's the topic of this video. So go watch it. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn notifications on and comment section is always open. See you guys later. Peace.